far up as you can go. A quick dip of a net and proof of a healthy ecosystem. Baby bluegill numbering in the thousands call this pretty pond home. But they'd better watch out for the bass and crappie that share this water. A one acre pond can really produce a lot of fish. Grundy County Director Craig Kimbrough is one of three UT Extension agents statewide who serve as pond consultants. Craig covers Middle Tennessee, helping farmers and landowners build, improve, or maintain ponds. There's a lot more to ponds than just digging a hole and letting it fill. Sometimes they like to have the pond, but they don't really manage it well. And it's not really because they do it on purpose, it's just because they forget to manage. One common mistake is having a pond that's too deep. This one acre pond is about six feet in the middle, which is just about ideal. Also, you'd think crystal clear water would be the goal, but water that's too clear allows too much sunlight in, which leads to weed growth. You want some algae growth in there, some phytoplankton growth in there, so that the sunlight can't penetrate that pond floor. Craig says semi-murky works best. If you can see past 18 inches under the water, through the water column, then it's probably too clear and it really needs to be treated with some kind of pond dye or maybe try to fertilize it. There are more than 200,000 small lakes and ponds in Tennessee, many of them privately owned. About a quarter of all the fishing in our state happens on small bodies of water like this one. At two dozen acres, you might label this a small lake. Again, though, it's not very deep. Landowner Jay Argo loves to invite friends and family over That's to right. fish. I think we put in approximately 5,000 bluegill, uh, 2,000 uh, hybrid crappie. A good thousand bass too, but this is also a genuine working pond, providing irrigation for a vegetable farm and nursery. Ponds are a great help to agriculture. It's such a, such a beneficial resource to this area, for sure, to our state, uh, to be able to have that, that source available to you when we don't have rainfall. A pond doesn't have to be huge to be beautiful and productive. More than just a prized fishing hole, a pond serves as a source of life. This is Chuck Denny reporting.